Hi everyone, this is Teal from Pocketblocks.com. Today I will be reviewing the two um, Da Vinci Maestro brushes. Now, uh, this one here, uh, this black one with a plastic body is a Da Vinci 1503 series uh, Maestro brush. The hair is made of pure Kolinsky and what I like about this brush is you can just twist the back of the brush and then you can use it to cover it up and it's very portable it, I'm not sure how much it measures but it's very small and compact you can fit it inside a watercolor box uh, like this this is small enough to fit into a watercolor box so I bring this a lot around uh, for my watercolor sketches and because it's very compact and the hair which is made of Kolinsky is very good as compared to uh, those artificial synthetic bristles. This is a brush that I just bought. This is a new brush actually, but I've been using this for years because the one that I bought many years ago has start, is starting to worn out. Uh, let's take a look. So yeah, you can see that the sticker, even the sticker here, that there used to be some barcodes, there were some words here. But after years of usage, you can see that the woods like this would start to wear out. And these brushes, they come in different sizes. So this would be the size 6. There's a size 2, 4, 6. And this one is a 8, I think. The pin is starting to wear off, so this one is an 8, size 8, and this one is a size 10. So you can see that this size 10 is actually quite huge. And the construction wise is very nice. I like the construction. The plastic is quite light and it's quite comfortable to hold. I think it's a bit short when you compare it against other uh, watercolor portable watercolor brushes, but this one I, I like the length of this one because I started out uh, with this, this brush at the end of the Brush here. There's actually a tiny little hole for ventilation. I think that one is quite useless actually If you want to dry a brush you just leave it up like this and dry don't Don't keep it wet. I mean if you are if you have just finished your painting and it's wet, you can keep it like this and store it into your pencil case or something like that. But don't store it there for days. I mean, when you bring it back home, take it out and air it because mold will grow. The ventilation hole is there. It's nice, but it's too small for actual ventilation. So that's something to take note of. This one, let's take a closer look at how these uh, brushes work. Oh, I forgot to uh, talk about this brush. This is also a um, Da Vinci Maestro brush, but this one is called the Maestro Voyage or the Voyage Maestro, I'm not too sure. The difference between this brush and this brush is the <clears throat> body itself. So this one has a metal body. As you can see, I've, this is quite a well-worn brush for me already. So it uses Kolinsky Sable as well. So it holds a very nice amount of water. This one is a bit longer. This is a collapsible brush as well. So you can, how I keep it, I would usually pull this section up first to cover the bristles and then I will pull out the body behind, hold this one tight and then push it, use it to cover and that's it. This one has a ventilation hole as well. If I want to use it, I'll just pull this out, put the back on and then push this back down. So this one is much easier to keep compared to this one where you actually have to carefully align um, to make sure that your body does not catch any bristle while going in so that's the convenient part for the uh, voyage maestro the downside of this uh, is that sometimes if you get dirt inside this part here those dirt will start to scratch on the chrome surface you can see 
Let me take a look. Uh, closer, zoom in. Oops. Um, yeah, so if you get dirt inside um, this area here and you constantly push and pull this, some of the chrome section it will peel off like mine does. So it doesn't look very pretty after that. And the other thing about this brush is this brush cannot fit inside this watercolor box. Uh, it's a bit too long, but you can fit it inside your pencil case. The sizes for this, I think this one only goes up. This is the largest one, size 6. So they only go up to size 6, which is this one, the largest. As for the this series, the series 15, uh, 1503. Uh, this one can go up to size 10, I think even larger. So that would be the difference uh, between these two brushes. So let's take a look at how these brushes perform. Let me zoom out a bit. Okay, let's try let's try this very old brush that I have. I've used this uh, brush for several years already. Make some water. So these brushes they use the Kolinsky sable uh the hair. As a result they can hold a very nice amount of water. Let me use the magenta color, mix the magenta. So what I'm using here is the size um, 6, this will be how I paint when I'm outdoors. Kolinsky Sable is uh, capable of uh, going to a very sharp point, but this one that I'm using right here has already worn out, so, so it's not that sharp anymore. Oh yeah, so I think I better use a new brush that I bought recently. I mean, after using this metal brush, I still I find that I still prefer the plastic brush body. Let's use this one. This is also a size six. Try some varying thickness of lines. The round brush, this is a round brush. The round brush is a very versatile brush. You can use it to create um, small sh uh, strokes like this, or you can use it to put out washes like this. The water is, is very easy to control the water on the brush. It's really very smooth on the paper. The bristles are very soft, but when you wash them in the water and you just clean off a bit, you will see that the bristles come back to a sharp point. This uh, this is a feature for all the Kolinsky brushes. So let's take a look at these much larger brushes. Okay, let me dab some more paint. Let me put in more water. So if I were to use a, if you want to create a big area of flat wash, this I would use a bigger brush like this. 
You can also use a mop brush or some other those flat brush, but uh, when I what I like about uh, this brush is it's portable. So when I'm going outdoors for sketching, I tend not to use so many uh, bring so many brushes. So I will bring usually my size six, and if I'm doing bigger painting, maybe the size eight or this size ten. So let's see how you can create a graded wash, a flat wash. Just put in a lot of water. This brush holds a lot of water. So you can see how easily it just creates this great this beautiful wash. Now even for a brush uh, of this size, it will still taper to a rather uh, sharp a point. So this is the Da Vinci Let me put this down What one five O three Maestro Wash it So um, this brush, because this brush is so thick, it holds a lot of water. Even if you dry it, like just wiping it off the top of the container, it's still going to be very wet. Now, if you're going to be capping it like that, and if you were to rely on this ventilation hole at the back, there's no way the brush is going to dry when you for a few days. This will remain it. When it's kept like that, it will remain wet uh, for a few days and that's not good for the brush because uh, in certain conditions, the mold may start to grow on the bristle. So that's something to take note of. So usually when I finish my painting, I will cap it. When I go back home, I will uncap it to dry it. This is a very quality, um, this is a very good quality brush, something that I recommend. They come in many different sizes. So... I really love this brush. So that's all for the testing and um, we have come to the end of the review. So this is the 1503 series of Da Vinci brush that's called the Maestro and this is the 910 series that is called the Voyage Maestro. Now when you are going online, when you go online, you are looking for these brushes, you may see that there's another series called the 1523 that features red sable and the 1523 and 1503 the series the quality is the same so I've tested both so they are really identical and just buy the one with the cheaper price yeah because the quality is identical you don't have to pay extra for all the Kulinski or red sable or stuff like that don't confuse yourself my preference would be for these two and because they come in more sizes. The shorter body makes it more compact and pack it into a watercolor box. Uh, this one is nice if you prefer a longer brush, but take note that they chrome. Make sure that you don't get any dirt uh, inside. I remember that I dropped this brush on the ground before, so the ground was sandy and some sand probably got inside. So through uh, multiple pull and push and just chrome part just started to fall off. Now with proper care, uh, these brushes can last quite long. So each brush lasted me about two years uh, with constant use. And this one also lasted me about two years with constant use. And remember to take proper care of your brushes so that they can last longer. These are quite expensive. For this size 10, I'm not sure of the price, exactly the price, but uh, for a size 10 Kolinsky brush versus a size 10 synthetic brush, the Kolinsky brush is several times more expensive. But what you get is the sharp uh, water holding capacity. So the brush can hold more water, and which means that you can use it to create washes without reloading that fast. And if you don't reload uh, as often, not, not fast as often, you don't have to disturb your wash uh, that often as well. So that's the good point about this Kolinsky brush. 
if that's all for this review if you want to check out individual reviews for the brushes just click on the links below there will be also some sketches that i drew with the brushes as well so you can look out for the purchase links in the reviews section themselves and you have if you have any questions you can ask them ask them in the comment section below as well so thank you for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more art product reviews in the future thank you